squeaker for speaker, McCarthy finally wins top house post. After days of public humiliation and a chaotic 14th loss, Republican Kevin McCarthy has finally been elected Speaker of the House of Representatives on the 15th vote. Just past Friday midnight, the Bakersfield, California, congressman at last secured the votes necessary to take hold of the gavel, following a grueling series of failed ballots that saw a gang of nearly 20 Republicans repeatedly lock arms against the longtime House GOP leader. The impasse began to break on Friday morning. McCarthy held a call with Republicans, proclaiming he and the party were in a good position. The subsequent 12th ballot saw 14 members who had previously opposed him cast roll call votes for McCarthy. Yet another, Rep. Andy Harris, Republican Maryland, joined during the 13th ballot, after which the House adjourned. I'll have the votes, McCarthy predicted to CNN about the vote Friday night. McCarthy was still off by one. Despite, never Kevin, leaders Matt Gates and Lauren Baybert voting present, instead of in opposition, McCarthy still could not muster more than half of the votes on the 14th roll call. A tumultuous face-to-face -face confrontation between Gates and McCarthy on the House floor failed to change the tally, and McCarthy instead headed to a 15th round of voting. Then, on the 15th try, the anti-McCarthy bloc yielded together, with six members voting, present, instead of in opposition, lowering the win threshold and allowing McCarthy to squeak through with bare majority of 216 votes. The opposition to McCarthy's speakership was centered in the far-right Freedom Caucus, with members bashing McCarthy as a lobbyist beholden, bad-faith negotiator who would never accede to its populist ultra-mega demands. Some of the opposition was ideological, at least rhetorically, the Freedom Caucus advocates financial austerity and members see McCarthy as too free-spending. For others the conflict seemed far more personal, as with the case of Never Kevin ringleader, Matt Gates. The hardline Freedom Caucus has long wielded political power beyond its modest numbers, by withholding backing on party-line votes essential to conducting business in the House, and grinding business to a halt. The vote for Speaker is normally a routine display of party unity. McCarthy was nominated as Speaker-designate by his party at the end of 2022 by an overwhelming margin within the House GOP conference. But to secure the gavel, McCarthy needed an absolute majority of House members to vote for him. With 214 Democrats all voting in unison for their new leader, New York Rep. Hakeem Jeffries, McCarthy could suffer no more than four GOP defections, given the slim margin voters afforded the Republicans during the 2022 Red Ripple midterm elections. Using the Freedom Caucus' favorite obstructionist tactic, 19 GOP members withheld party-line support from McCarthy on the first ballot on Tuesday. It was the first time in 100 years that a speaker had not been elected on the first ballot. The second ballot also failed, and by the third the number of anti-McCarthy Republicans had climbed to 20. Former President Donald Trump tried to publicly rally support for McCarthy on Wednesday, but it had no effect. The number of Republicans who declined to vote for him rose to 21 on the three votes held later that day.